नमस्ते एंड वेलकम दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस टाइटल्ड ग्रेट माइंड्स ग्रेट कोर्ट्स आर रियली रियली ग्रेट इंस्पिरेशंस इन मेनी मेनी सब्जेक्ट्स दैट द ग्रेटेस्ट स्कॉलर्स साइंटिस्ट थिंकर्स फिलोसोफर्स हैव ट्राइड टू टीच अस इन फ्यू वर्ड्स now this series of videos great minds great quotes are in addition to a number of other videos on this channel titled yoga chari dhananjay kumar there are about 200 videos for raising intelligent kids there are many on arts culture biography music dance yoga etc so i hope you will be able to reach those videos as well which are created with good intention of conveying whatever we have learned through decades of study and research and biographies and have tried to distill that knowledge into short videos so it will be easier to convey the message and for recipients all of you to grasp it easily so this episode the topic is help and i have a few precious quotations from great minds and the first quotation is by john andrew holmes there is no better exercise for the heart then reaching out and lifting people up so this is not physical exercise Physi- physical exercise you do push ups and walking and twisting and turning this is exercise for the heart to keep the heart healthy to for your emotional well being it is always a good act on your behalf on your self to reach down and lifting people up reaching down means they are less fortunate they are less um uh, able they are less resourceful than you so it is your our duty and responsibility for our emotional well-being to reach out and help those who are less privileged than us this is a short one by swami vivekanand the sum total of all ideas of help the sum total of all ideas of help is god now we recently made a video on god a relatively long video but this is what really idea of god means the sum total of all ideas of help wherever whenever you want to help in any manner to anybody there are many motivation there are many ways to help others so all those put together is the complete total idea of help and that idea is god the sum total of all ideas of help is god because if you are not inclined to helping others which means you are selfish self-centered egoistic and all these kind ideas keep you away from the notion of god so when you overcome those influences on you the mental influences such as ego self anger aggrandizement and selfishness self-centeredness then it's difficult to reach god because then you will not be able to cultivate the intention 
inspiration for helping others. Beautiful one by Ralph Waldo Emerson. It is one of the most beautiful compensations of this life. It is one of the most beautiful compensations of this life that no man can sincerely try to help another without helping himself. So beautiful idea that helping others is in effect helping yourself. It uplifts you. It makes you more kind, more generous, more giving and more interested in the environment, in the society around you. So all these are good for your health, your mental well-being. So the quotation again is, it is one of the most beautiful compensations of this life that no man can sincerely try to help another without helping himself. In other words, there is no situation where you are not helping others to feel good. To feel good is to help others and that naturally brings good feeling in your heart. This one by Carl Rayland. In about the same degree as you are helpful, you will be happy. So the other one was connecting helpfulness with your mental well-being, your emotional well-being. This one is also something similar. It connects helpfulness as happiness for you. In about the same degree as you are helpful, you will be happy. So that is a one-to-one -one relationship. That as much as you help, that much you will be happy. If you help a little bit here and there, some people, you will be happy a little bit, not much. So to be much more or be happy at the maximum level possible, then you have to be helpful at the maximum level possible. Nisargadat Maharaj says, If you want to help the world, you must be beyond the need of help. If you want to help the world, don't be needy of help yourself. Then all you are doing as well as not doing will help the world most effectively. In other words, the point here is that if you are in need of help yourself, then it is difficult for you to prepare to help others. First, you will want to help yourself to meet your own uh, basic needs and your own uh, desire, minimum desires fulfilled. Uh, whether it is physical, mental. So, he is asking us to be free from needing help ourselves. After that, when you are not working to help yourself, after that, whatever you do or not do will be helping others. So, once again, if you want to help the world, you must be beyond the need of help. Then, all you are doing as well as non-doing will help the world most effectively. And the last one is Swami Vivekananda saying, All the help that has come was from within yourself. It's a little subtle that all the help that has come to you was from within yourself, which means the higher, deeper self in you, the higher being or presence in you has recognized 
the need of your lower self, lower mind, and it is helping you. So, the help that has come to you is actually not coming from some other source. Your own inner self is helping the outer self. Or your sincerity, your sincere wish to be helped. First, you need to recognize that you need help. You have problem, you have mental, physical, emotional, whatever, there are issues and you are sincerely longing for help. Now, nobody else will recognize that need. So, your inner self, through the power of intention and intense desire, will create an environment around you, including with nature's help, that your, you will be relieved, you will be finding relief and comfort within yourself. So this is a step in self-development and self-awareness that the help you are getting is actually you are helping yourself.